Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My name is Imran Sharif from Montreal, Canada. I came along with Safina Sailing to see the St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I didn't know exactly what they were going to do. I knew there was going to be a lot of adventures. Of course, there was going to be an Islamic retreat as well. We're going to be praying salat together. We're going to be listening to the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, talking about ayat of Quran, recitation of Quran in the morning, in the evening, dhikr, and trying to incorporate everything. I knew there was going to be fabulous food. There was going to be steaks, chicken, you know, tropical, local, Caribbean style food. So, alhamdulillah, landed in the St. Vincent and Brother Talib and his crew, they came to pick us up. A very warm welcome. As soon as we came out, the warm weather, man. I left Canada and it was like five degrees. It was, it was cold, you know. And just coming out, temperatures 30. Wow. The different types of homes, the twisty, twindly roads. There's no straight highway. The different style of people, how they're waiting on the street, how they're shopping how they're picking up their children, how they're acting with it. It's, it was just a beautiful experience. You want to get away from your, from your area, from where you are, and you want to actually see the, the beauty what Allah Ta'ala has actually created out there. How Allah Ta'ala says in the Quran, لِتَعَرَفُوا خَلَقْنَاكُمْ I have created you in different ways, amongst different people in different countries. And all this is just so insan can understand, this human being can understand what kind of beauty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept in all around. We got to the Blue Lagoon Marina, then we got to the yacht, and mashallah what a beautiful yacht. Never been on a, like a luxurious, classical, very high-end yacht. The cabins were beautiful, you had a nice bed for, your, for the couple. There was a nice bathroom, uh, uh, your toiletries, uh, a nice shower. The first adventure that we had after Fajr prayer on Friday, we went off to the mountain Sofia. What a beautiful mountain, um, 4,000 something feet. With the permission of Allah, with the help of Allah, we started off making a dua and we went. And after 15-20 minutes, we, we hit a stream, a nice stream of cold water. It was refreshing, we, we made wudu with it, we cooled down, we drank. All of your digestive system, it corrects it in a moment. Just check it out. Remember to say the dua. Subhanallah, this is the best water you can ever find. But I really wanted to do it because I wanted to get up there and see the crater, like the, where the volcano actually erupted. It was mountainish, then we were walking through a, like a tropical rainforest. We're walking through rocks. We're walking through all kinds of trees, uh, looking at uh, different creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the trees, the different texture of uh, the leaves. Subhanallah, some of the leaves were very paper thin, but some of the, the, the leaves were like cardboard. It was like so thick. Going up was a spectacular journey. Um, and we were, continuously we were just saying, SubhanAllah, 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 how Allah Ta'ala has created this for us. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says that, uh, dunya khuliqat lakum ayli khidmatikum. Dunya, this world has been created for your service um, so that you can continuously obey Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and, and learn from everything around you. So Alhamdulillah, we, uh, we pushed ourselves to get to the top. The last 20 minutes of the journey, we were in, in the clouds. And wow, it was beautiful. You, can you imagine like you, you're just in the clouds. There was many educational sessions uh, along the way, uh, explaining the types of rock, explaining the types of sand, you know, and that's why I came on this trip because uh, it helps you understand the, the Qudrat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when we got to the top, mashallah, our team had gone ahead and they, they cheered us on. They said, subhanallah, Allahu Akbar. We all said, Allahu Akbar, takbir, Allahu Akbar together. Then we looked down and we see the crater where it actually it erupted, the volcano erupted. There's a sign and everything that, hey, something happened here. So we did stay there for almost uh, 20 minutes, you know, uh, chilling out, relaxing, taking photos, um, and just, you know, interacting. Just to, And then we gave adhan on the top of the hill. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah. Um, it was it was it was a very spiritual thing as well, and just everywhere you look, you, east, west, north, south, whether you look uh, in any direction, you see the the the, the qudrat of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. We got to the bottom of the mountain, tired, <laughs> dripping sweat, 
But and, nothing like it. And you have a chutzpah in less than an hour. Chutzpah less than an hour. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, now we're we're going back to our yacht uh, after praying, uh, going for Jumu'ah Salat in mainline St. Vincent, the biggest mosque, and then going back onto the yacht. Our chef had had cooked us up some nice food, and after uh, partaking lunch on the yacht, uh, we started sailing. The first step we we went to uh, is Bekaway. The sail uh, to Bekaway was I think it was maybe two two three hours, um, just looking across the horizon. You, you see the blue water. Uh, green water and uh, you can see through at least five feet in the daytime in Bekaway There's some scuba diving places. You can get your certification and then you can actually go and explore uh, We see online beauty. We see mountains. We see plants. We see trees. We see animals You know Allah Ta'ala has kept much more beauty below the sea level um, When you go deep inside the ocean, it's something to see we had our meals We had breakfast lunch dinner. We had all kinds of snacks. We had our butler our steward uh, He was making tea for us whenever we needed we had some spectacular uh, kinds of fish chicken Our chef whipped us up spectacular food. We have dessert every night. There was sour sap Wow, and all the different bananas just going to the fruit market the vegetable market and just seeing all the different types of um, the, the texture of the fruits like you can't you, you can't beat this you know like where are you gonna get this? You gonna go to Vancouver? <laughs> or like, can you get or like this Arizona? I mean, like, no, you can't get you know, it. I mean, like, no. There's beautiful things in Vancouver or Florida, Miami, Arizona. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. You know, but You're not gonna something get this tropical then. like this, something so refreshing. We, wait till we get the coconuts. Well, how, uh, I can't miss the coconut water. Coconut water was just spectacular again. It was just uh, soothing, it was refreshing with the beautiful tropical uh, surroundings. It's, it's something uh, mind boggling. We learned a lot from the captain. He would explain to us how a sailing boat would sail. It was something very nice. You know, you, you understand um, when they dock the boat, why do they dock the boat in the way they dock the boat. There's so much to learn. Allah Ta'ala has kept so much for us to learn and understand and experience. And unless we don't go and do it, we're, we're, we're never going to understand. What I uh, enjoyed immensely was getting friendly to the water. I was scared of the water. I would get panic attacks in the water. In this trip, I actually made intention that, you know, I really want to, uh, inshallah, learn how to swim. Obviously, uh, life jackets, you know. So I went in and, and, you know, I asked the captain and I asked the friends on the, on the crew and they helped me out, the butler, the steward. He started doing back flips from the, from the top of the yacht and I was like, I was looking at it and I was like, Ya Allah, I need to do this, please. And today, inshallah, hopefully, uh, before uh, I fly tomorrow, inshallah, I will be able to at least jump. I'm not sure about the backflips and all that, but inshallah, I would like to jump from the top deck into the water without a life jacket. If you tell the captain that you want to hit calm, calm water so you can understand how to swim, they will take your request into consideration and they will alter the itinerary. The itineraries are not built in and not written in stone. You can always alter and change. Eventually, I said, you know, I got to do this. I took the life jacket off and alhamdulillah, I started with a rope and I went back and, and alhamdulillah, I was able to float um, in the water without a life jacket. Now, I couldn't ha have, have done this without their encouragement. It's, that's something, uh, it's personalized, you know? So I appreciated that much uh, with their help that they gave. Then we got to this place. Uh, this place is the Tobago Keys. Tobago Keys is just small, uninhabited islands, small areas. Some of them are so small in five, 10 minutes, you can walk around the entire island. It's all for you, there's no one here. And, and there's so many islands, you can actually go and be by yourself with your family and children, just you and your wife, if you're coming for a honeymoon, or just you and your friends, and there's no one else here. You just, it's a private territory, it's a private place just for you. There's only yachts parked everywhere, and they come, stay for a couple hours of the day, or two days, and then they move away. I already saw two sea turtles. They're gigantic, I don't know what the size, but it looked like this big, I was on the boat and I saw it beautiful sea turtles um, and again that's that's a creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you can uh, swim through the fishes there's many many fishes I've seen some fish already today but I'm told there's there's a lot more and there's a lot of coral reef as I said the creation of Allah beneath the water so when you go and you see the coral reefs in the Tobago Keys um, and uh, you see the small the golden fish the blue fish the purple the turquoise all the different colors and they're coming through you they're coming at you uh, and and you don't have to be scared at all you just swim through them it's something uh, it's a breathtaking view it's uh, it leaves an imprint in your mind that you know uh, I got to strive and struggle and make some more sacrifice in my world 
get away from sin, try to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that eventually I get to paradise and in paradise Allah ta'ala has kept much more. This is just a small glimpse of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is actually going to give us in the hereafter. So inshallah, make your intention, try to come. It's, uh, it's going to be a, a fabulous journey. You're going to like it. Uh, bring your wife, uh, come as a family, come with friends. A halal trip with halal food. Uh, you stay away from haram. Today, at this time and age, it's very hard to get uh, uh, to a halal resort uh, where you're going to get halal food and, 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 to, st and to keep away from uh, all that, that you don't want to actually hear or you don't want to see. So when you, when you have uh, uh, some brothers who are actually trying their best to, uh, to open that, uh, that avenue for our Muslim brothers and sisters, especially our sisters, where they can enjoy, have a private beach to themselves, and you know, no one's gonna look at you, no one's gonna say something, no one's gonna judge you, and there's, there's, it's only you, you're the only family there. So inshallah, I hope all of you will try to make your utmost efforts to join Safina Sailing, and inshallah, I wish you the best. Jazakumullahu khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.